Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Odin. Now, Odin is a Samsung software that is used in flashing Samsung devices when you probably want to take them back to their stock um, firmware. So you use the Odin software or maybe you want to flash something else on the device, maybe like a custom recovery. You can also use that. So Odin is a software for basically flashing stock stock firmware so i hope that's clear so now let me open it now it will give you this error please be sure to delete your google account before downloading the binary which is pretty important you need to sign out yeah so you just read that please make sure you download the appropriate binary and version like the firmware version should be directly linked to your device do not download um the a23 firmware for like an a53 device that will break the device which means it will make it not to function anymore and you'll have a glorified break <laughs> it's literally what breaking means it won't work anymore so you click ok now this is the interface now as you can see there's a lot going on but we're only interested in this side this side and this side let me focus okay, it's not focusing let me... okay so now you're interested here now as you can see my device is detected now let's go to the device it looks like this now this is where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be in download mode, which is basically accessed in the newer devices by holding the volume up and volume down button while your device is connected and booting up. So like, let's say your device is restarting. When, it, when the screen goes off, you hold it while it's connected. You hold and then it will bring you here. So that's that. And now you leave the software. Now for the software. Mm, it looks like this it's a zip file you can just uncompress it and when you uncompress you get this now this is the software file as you can see things are matching up right let's say let me just resize it You can see things are matching up you see there's a bl file which is the bootloader and there's also the ap which i think includes the recovery then you have the home csc then the csc you can see bl bl ap ap csc csc is there so now since we have everything and it's matching all you have to do is now just click here let's start with the bl you click bl then you just pick bl the bootloader file now sometimes this thing can take a bit to load now for the bootloader it's pretty it's pretty light so it will load up instantly let's start with another light one which is csc now there's two cscs but normally i just choose the csc file i don't choose the home I don't know what's the difference honestly but this is what works for me so i'll just suggest csc maybe someone else has more knowledge they can fill us in but let's pick csc as you can see it's pretty fast now for the cp file <laughs> cp of course um i don't know what it means but it's usually in my phone but now i'm using a tablet and it doesn't have the cp file so i'll just skip that it's not there but for your phone it may be there so we are now going to ap now this is a pretty huge file as you can see eight gigabytes so this will take a bit to load and the odin software may show that it's not responding so what you're supposed to do is just click and then just let go like it will look like it's not loading but it's a pretty large file so it may even say not responding so you just give it a few Mm, yeah you just give it a few it shows not responding but don't click it don't tamper with it it's still loading it's a huge file so you 
you need to relax <laughs> maybe watch a, a youtube video as it's loading it's not going to take like crazy long but it will take some time also the cp file is light and the only file you'll have to wait is usually the ap file so it's literally just this one now meanwhile on the device you're in the download section you can look for your device download mode instructions like how to go to download based on your device because it's different and it may be different for my device and your device and it also shows some details there i don't know if i'm supposed to show that but it as you can see the warranty is void <laughs> you literally trip the warranty when you flash a custom rom so know that you trip nox which is a samsung security feature so just know nox is gone you, you can't flash it back you can't fix it or anything and yeah everything is good the oem lock is also okay off off you unlocked kg status checking everything here is good some devices are locked you can't do this you can't unlock the bootloader you can't do anything so just take note of that as you're flashing a custom rom now as you can see it's ready here now moment of truth but wait we don't want to go quickly let's just as you can see it's now responding it's okay so now what we do is go to the options you can see some scary options here you can see nand erase in just a minute <laughs> you can see auto reboot nand erase repartition factory reset time device info flash lock decompress data now we are only interested in these two. These others are a bit complex and can actually cause the device to be bricked and to never boot up. So what I may suggest is stick to these two, auto reboot and factory reset time, which is like a counter that shows if your device was reset and yeah, and the amount of time it was. So that's that, auto reboot and factory reset time, device info, these others don't touch, so just deal with this too. Now for our case, we don't want the device to reboot, so we just click this, then start. If you have multiple devices, they'll also be, you can just do mass here on mass, then they'll just appear here the same way. And just show that flashing, 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 flashing like that. So as you can see, they're now not clickable. I don't know what this to do so you just leave it at that those are your only options the pit isn't especially for advanced users as you can even see do not use this tab this tab is for engineers your device will be changed with the pit in csc file so you just avoid it avoid it if you can unless you know what you're doing so as you can see the log the log is telling you do not turn off the target, get pit for mapping, firmware update. Now you're basically going back to your stock firmware. So you just give it a few minutes and yeah, that's it. As you can see in the device, you see it's flashing. It may take a few, maybe like seven minutes from the amount of time that I've been flashing this. So just give it a few minutes, seven to be precise. And yeah, it's okay. It's going okay. It's really important not to disconnect, not to do anything and to just leave it as that because otherwise you can get the error which I made another video on how to fix which you can watch in the description below. So if something goes wrong you can remedy it so don't worry but I don't suggest you do it on purpose because it can be pretty scary and sometimes things do not work as smoothly. So yeah, let me be back in a few and I'll continue from there. Okay, we are back. As you can see, it says pass and everything completed successfully. And on the device, you can see it's now completed. Now the next step is to reboot. And this you can be, you can see here how to restart the device. Volume key down, side key for more than seven seconds. The side key being the power button. So now you just hold it. And when you hold it, the screen will go off. 
but now me i want to go back because i want to flash a custom recovery let me just go back as you can see i'm now back and volume up continue volume up long press for device to unlock this is if your bootloader is locked but at this point i'm sure it's unlocked so you choose your option my bootloader is unlocked so i'll choose the volume up to continue and that's it you basically have now the official firmware and you, as you can see here the current binary it will read samsung official i'm not sure if it did previously but if you changed it it will read custom so yeah now it's the official custom uh, official stock firmware and that's it so now i want to flash a custom recovery which is twrp and i'll show you in the next video how to do it so that's it and see you soon